Wait a minute. Hold up. Let me back up for a second and start from the beginning. Okay, so my trip started out in Merida, Mexico, and I decided to take the bus to Cancun. Merida has its own airport, but it was cheaper to go this way. So I took the red line. It has more seats than the blue line. This was a different time. I wanted to show you the blue line is more luxury. The seats are wider. You have more room in between. But yeah, if you can take the Platino line, do that. It's about a four hour trip to Cancun on the bus and Cancun is an hour ahead of the Yucatan. This saved me a little bit of money and um, when you get to the airport, you'll see there's a bunch of audio buses that come from everywhere all over Mexico because they do, they go from state to state within Mexico. It's like a normal airport. You'll see there's people everywhere. It's clean. It's just like any other airport. There's no donkeys and dirt roads. For those of you who think that's what Mexico is all about, it isn't. And once you get through security, you'll end up in the same kind of place like any other international airport with duty-free shops. They are very brightly lit to get you to feel comfortable and encourage you to spend more money. Also, pay attention. Most people are right-handed and these shops tend to veer left so that when you're pulling your luggage with your right hand, your left hand is free. And that way you can pick up things and spend, spend, spend. Pay attention when you go to the airport and let me know if I'm right about this one. Once I found my gate, it wasn't long before I had to board United Flight 2164 to Los Angeles. But once I got to my seat, oh my God, regret set in. I'm not even sure you can hear me, but Honestly, this shouldn't even be a seat that you pay full price for. It should be something people opt into doing, knowing that you won't be able to recline or rest and that you're going to get bumped around the whole entire trip. I'm writing a letter to United Airlines. Because as you can see, even when they were doing the in-flight service, the cart literally just rested up against my arm and the flight attendants could care less. So I'm outside at the lot where Dream is and because I put a for sale sign on her thinking that you know it would be helpful it was the worst mistake I could have made um, and then I feel horrible I'm sick I'm having like body chills and my nose is running and this is a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna take a test make sure I don't have the vid well we all know I got the vid but um, yeah, so I'm out here doing this. So I just kind of want you guys to see like there's a lot to this process, not just selling her and be like, okay, bye, you know. And then I just want to kind of, the, the wind is blowing. Sorry, guys, you know how Vegas is. Um, we're in a bowl. Anyway, um, I wanted to show you this process of preparing her, getting her ready to go, and, um, you know, what it's taking for me. Like I had to fly back to the States to do this sorry and hopefully I only have to make one trip because I think I may have a uh, tiny sold as well my truck if you guys don't know who my tiny house is dream but my truck is tiny because she's 
massive she's a mammoth and so it was just funny to name her tiny but anyway yeah so I feel horrible but I'm out here scraping tape okay so I got it all nice and clean it took a lot of elbow grease that I don't really have because I feel horrible but it's clean now I'm showing you guys this because I want you to see the things that I have to go through it's not all peaches and creams and then this was my remedy for fighting back COVID I am not saying that everybody should do what I do but I just wanted to show it to you in case you missed it fuck you COVID so right now I'm sick um, I have COVID and I am on my way to meet up with the transporter to um, get Dream transported to her new home I am so happy with where she's going, um, what, with whom she's going to be with. So we've had a couple of, you know, failed people who, you know, wanted to purchase her or said that they wanted to purchase her, but things just never worked out. And now I see why they didn't work out because her new mommy is just she's perfect for dream and dream is perfect for her i'm so happy with where dream is going because she's actually going to be at a national forest go dream because i feel like she's gonna be living her best life you know like I'm in Mexico and I'm doing my thing and it's like Dream is going to be in the National Forest doing her thing, living her best life. And she said that she would let me come and film one day one, when they get situated and you know I'm back in the States over here on this part of town. Um, that she would be okay with me coming to check in on them and do a video for you guys if y'all want to see you know dream um where she's gonna end up so we'll see i'm pretty sure she's probably gonna do something rad to her exterior i never got around to painting her exterior i wanted to do something with her on the outside but now i'm kind of glad that i didn't because i feel like her new mommy is gonna end up doing something different and she'll probably do something where she's gonna blend in more with her environment and with what I would have done she may have stuck out more and looked a little more modern whereas now she's gonna be in a natural environment and I, I feel like that that's good like I'm glad I didn't do anything and I left her with a blank slate so she can go ahead and just you know do something which I think would be really rad so I'm excited I'm sick uh, I know you can hear it I'm super nasally um, but y'all y'all know me like I'm gonna bring it to you rough rugged and raw uh, this is probably my I want to say like fourth day of being sick I really have only had one day of full rest which was yesterday but before that it was like you know I had to hit the ground running luckily when I did meet up with Amanda I knew that I wasn't feeling well and whether it was just a simple cold or this fucking coronavirus actually it's not corona it's it's a different virus it's COVID but it's a different strain um, I'll put that on the screen but um, I knew like something told me just take precautions so I always keep a mask with me and I have my mask I put my mask on and I wanted to make sure that you know I protected her because you know she's got she's got big work to do you know what she's doing in the National Forest and so I definitely didn't want to be 
the person to make her sick. So um, I'm glad that I wore my mask when we met up and took precautions. So yeah, Lysol the whole night. Anyway, all right guys, I am almost at the lot. I'll set up my camera and bring you guys along um, and we can say goodbye to Dream together. Um, all right. Okay, so this is where we began. And the first thing that I wanted to do was remove her stabilizer jacks and that way she would be somewhat ready when the transporter got there because sometimes it can take a little bit longer due to the fact that the ground temperature changes and she may settle in. If you wanna see more about how to prep for taking off or staying in place, I have other videos. You might wanna go ahead and watch those. I had already emptied out her tanks before she got moved the first time and that's also in another video. You might want to check that one out. Sometimes, like I said, these things can get very, very tedious. In which case, you may have to get your hands dirty and use whatever force you have. In this case, it was my feet. But I finally got it. That one gave me trouble. I know I heard chucks in there, but I'll wait till <clears throat> Jim gets here and then let him take the chucks out of her tires. This one is already not too bad. Um, all right, so here are her beautiful windows. I need to close those up. This wall is her slide. It's 16 foot slide that goes out. So that wall would be outside. There's her fireplace. And I'm just looking out for the transporter. She's a little shaky because I've already taken her stabilizer jacks out. And then you guys remember how beautiful her sink was and the desk. The desk is pretty heavy. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere, but I'm gonna double check with the transporter. And uh, this is this stuff is all bolted in. Refrigerator that stick goes in between the door and the refrigerator, so it'll jam it in even more. And then we go into her bathroom. It's dark because obviously there's no light. I took the mirror down. The mirror is underneath the mattress. And we remember how beautiful her bedroom and her bathrooms. Um, yeah, so you can't really see much back here, um, but yeah, it's time to say goodbye to this big girl. Dream is shaking, not because she's nervous, but I've taken her stabilizers out, so if the camera's rocking, that's why, but this is bittersweet. There's been so many memories here like redoing the kitchen, um, working with Ivan. He is so amazing, man. I fucking love Ivan. Ani, thank you so much. You were the only one of my friends who heard my call when I said I needed to rent a husband. And Ani gave up her husband. Girl, I love you. I love you, Ivan, so much. Thank you for helping me with everything, always believing in me, never making me feel like my ideas were too over the top. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Ivan. Um, it's It's been a lot. It's been, you know, the Ikea shops falling, busting my ass in Ikea, which I don't even think I ever let you guys knew, but I was so bruised up because I fell backwards trying to film in Ikea, um, you know, modifying cabinets and cutting up mattresses and putting in the flooring building the island it's all been a lot of work 
now that I reflect on it, it's like, wow, we put a lot of work into her. And um, the fan, which is right above me, let me just remember the fan. Remember you guys name the fan. Um, her name is Fantasy. I forgot uh, who came up with her name, but yeah, that was what we named her. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's a lot of memories. So it's bittersweet. Um, my lamps, which are now with me in Mexico. And um, it's just, it's, it's a lot. You guys have been along with me on the journey, picking the sink and the faucet for the bathroom. Um, just the countertops and all of that stuff. So just thank you to everybody who was involved in this whole process and just help me say farewell to my dream. Alright, she's getting ready to go.